Hello friends, welcome to video series on geography. In this video, I will be explaining about natural calamities like volcanism, earthquake, tsunami, which are a direct result of plate tectonics. The first one is volcanism. A volcano is a vent in the earth's crust from which molten rock material and gases, water vapors and other similar substances erupt. There are two kinds of eruption. One is a calm kind of eruption where the eruptions take place less violently and mostly on the flat surfaces through fissures. In the other one, volcanic eruptions are seen from a high conical peak and this high conical mountain is called as volcanic mountain and from this eruptions take place. The main source of uh, volcanoes is magma which is very hot which is a part of mantle where convectional currents are taking place due to radioactive decay in the earth's core and a differential heat that is generated due to this radioactivity and the differential heat gives rise to convective cell, convection cells and under the convection cells there is constant flux of magma within mantle and this magma is at very high temperatures and pressures as a result it always seeks a path to escape out to, uh, towards the earth's crust and when the rocks which are surrounding the mantle undergo metamorphosis giving rise to a vent then the magma finds this path the vent to escape out, uh, out of the earth's crust we can see these are the different kinds of landforms associated with volcanoes the ones that are below the earth's crust are called as intrusive landforms that is intrusive volcanic landforms and the ones that appear on the surface like a volcanic cone they are called as extrusive volcanic landforms we have discussed about intrusive volcanic landforms in, a pre in my previous videos and in this video we will see more about volcanoes types etc coming to causes volcanoes are mainly are, are a direct result of heat generated due to radioactive decay within the earth's crust and various other chemical reactions which produce heat deep inside the interior of the earth this heat results in constant flux of uh, molten magma in the mantle and this is caused due to differential heat uh, that is differential heat the mantle receives from the below the surface and above the surface for example this is mantle then the lower mantle is in touch with core whereas the outer mantle is touch with earth's crust this is crust and this is core but core is at a uh, very hot surface hence the heat here is extreme whereas the crust is a very cool surface hence the uh, uh, heat at the upper mantle is very low due to this the molten magma keeps rotating in the form of a convectional cell we can see this kind of movement in water which is uh, in a pot which is heated the similar kind of movement takes place here and due to this kind of forces where the pressure increases with depth and also heat increases with depth and this convectional cell always tries to explore above in the kind of in the form of volcano and the other kind of volcanic eruptions can happen through fault zones which are mainly exposed during earthquakes and we can see in this figure where we can see different fault zones as well as and different volcanic hotspots in continental crust and oceanic crust collisions that is mainly where the collisions take place between the denser plates and the lighter plates for example in continent ocean collision we can see that a denser oceanic plate subducts below a continental plate which is lighter and during this subduction process the, all the rock material in this region undergoes metamorphosis and this uh, hard rock material converts into molten magma at very high pressure and temperature and this magma seeks to escape from the best possible weak zone creating a volcanic mountain chain along the coastline in the next type that is where two convectional cells meet the rising limbs of two convectional cells meet there is a huge amount of pressure generated at this portion as a result this magma which is at very high pressure seeks to escape from a path the best possible path giving rise to a narrow and long 
fracture in the Earth's uh, oceanic crust, and from this oceanic uh, fracture, there is a lot of magma flowing out, which is mainly basaltic in nature. That is less viscous because of uh, less amount of silica, and this uh, volcan, uh, this lava or molten magma spreads to longer distances, and the ones that cool near gives rise to ridges. These are called ridges, and in ocean ocean collision. We can see that the same process happens just like in continent ocean collision. Here also the molten magma escapes uh, through a vent giving rise to a chain of uh, islands. And all these kind of volcanoes are a direct result of heat generated within the earth's interior. And depend on, depending on the frequency of eruptions of volcanoes, the volcanoes are mainly divided into active volcano, dormant volcano and extinct or ancient volcano. The first one that is the active volcano is the one which erupts fairly frequently that is it keeps on erupting, uh, erupting in about uh, 5 to 10 years and sometimes eruption might be very continuous. The best example is Mount Helens in US and Mount Merapi in Indonesia. And when we come to dormant volcanoes the eruptions here are not regular. Sometimes the time period between two successive eruptions might be hundreds of years and these undergo long intervals of repose that is between two successive eruptions there is a, a huge amount of time that is involved the best examples are Vesuvius in Italy, Fujiyama in Japan, Karkatabo Karkat in Indonesia which is said to be the, uh, the loudest volcanic eruption in the history and Narcondom Islands of Andaman and Nicobar Islands this is, these are the only uh, one or two there are only about two to three active volcanoes in the Indian region, especially uh, in Andaman and Nicobar Islands. One is Barren Islands, other one is Narcondom, etc. And when we come to extinct or ancient volcanoes, eruptions in these kind of volcanoes are not observed in the recent 10,000 years or more. So they are fairly uh, dormant for a long period of time and they are said to be extinct. And before going, before reaching an extinction stage, they, uh, they throw out huge amount of gases and dust which are called as fumar fumar fumaroles and sulfatras. And the best example for these kind of volcanoes are Mount Kenya, Kilimanjaro which are part of African Rift Valley region and the Great Lakes and Chimborazo in Ecuador that is in the Andes and Popa in Myanmar and Aconcagua in Andi which is also in Andes and Aconcagua is known as the highest volcanic mountain in the world. And depending on the extrusive landforms that volcanoes form, volcanoes are divided into composite volcanoes and shield volcanoes. In composite volcanoes, we can see that the volcanic eruptions give rise to a high conical mountain, mountain, mountain peak and whereas in shield volcano, we see that there is only a small high, highland created whose slopes are very gentle and this is shield volcano and this is composite volcano and the kind of magma that flows out in composite volcanoes is highly acidic that is it contains huge amount of silica hence it is very viscous and this magma which comes out doesn't flow through long distances and settle in the region just around the carter hence uh, through successive eruptions this volcano keeps on forming layers over layers and Slowly, this peak starts rising, and the and the whole volcano becomes a volcanic mountain increases in size. But due to denudation and erosion and weathering processes, this uh, variation in size doesn't take place quickly. It take uh, it have it takes nearly few hundred years for a volcanic mountain to grow uh, significant in significant sizes. In the shield volcano mostly the volcano that, it, that comes out is basaltic in nature that is it contains le less amount of silica hence it is less viscous and flows through longer distances so volcanoes uh, uh, magma in this kind of volcanoes flows through longer distances hence giving a uh, very flat to gentle sloped relief uh, the best example is Deccan Trap in India and the islands of uh, Iceland are also formed due to this kind of volcano and these kind in shield volcanoes the eruption is quite uh, silent whereas in composite volcanoes the eruption sometimes can be very violent and in composite volcanoes there is huge amount of gases that are 
that are erupted during the volcanic eruption whereas in fissures the gases that come out are very low the quantity of gases that come out is very low